This is cool. I, I love coming out on stage because no matter what, even if it's a great response like that, I can still see some of you. You're like, you're like, dang it, Bobby, he looks like Rascal Flats. <laughs> Looking around the crowd because everyone over 50 is like, what was funny about that? I don't know that voice. That was Hank Hill. If you're okay, did you did you recognize that? Not that you're over 50, sir. I'm just asking. Okay, maybe you are. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, you recognize the voice, Hank Hill. If you, okay, a lot of people you really don't because he's just like, okay, just quit talking to me. Okay. You know who Doctor Phil is? Same person. I'm serious. You watch King of the Hill, and because every time I watch it, Doctor Phil has to do that voice. It is. It's like, it's, like, it's like, dang it, Bobby, you act like you don't have shame. <laughs> and you know we taught you shame. Shame is something you can be free from. Thank you, Oprah. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. I didn't even plan on doing this one, but I'm going with it. Okay, because so I'll, I'll do two other voices that I think are the same person, then we'll start the show. Okay? Okay, here we go. Get another intro and everything. No, okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see if you got it. Hey, you got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. I never touched that woman. Okay. Yeah, look at all these millennials out here. They have no idea who that is. Yeah, yeah, millennials, you know what those are, in their 20s right here, right? Yeah, where are the millennials? Make some noise during your, in your 20s. Yeah, give it a, let's give it up, the generation that's described by the only generation I know that calls in sick when their feelings are hurt. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say things in this set just to throw you guys off, the millennials, right? All right, in the middle of something, I'll just stop and go, <laughs> cassette tape, right? <laughs> Or job. <laughs> Look at this guy back here. I don't care. I'll beat you in Fortnite. <laughs> that was a gaming joke, sir. It's a gaming joke. We'll pray for you. Is what we'll do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about myself before uh, I actually start, which, uh, uh, okay, I'm looking at the clock, okay. I have, I have a thing called ADD, okay, or ADHD, right? The millennials know what that is, right? <laughs> I wonder if he's on Adderall. He can study all night, okay, so. No, I do have ADD or ADHD, okay, which, which stands for, uh, you know, okay, because he just doesn't get any of this. He's just saying, okay, it stands for uh, attention, Attention, de attention, I like your bracelet. That's very shiny. Right. Basically, it stands for squirrel. Okay, so, and, and I, I am glad, sir, that you're sitting up here on the front row. I like, what's your name, sir? Trey. Trey? Really? Trey? Because I've been in Utah for four days, and I meet people like, what's your name? Gideon. <laughs> Abraham. I swear to God, I met a kid yesterday. I'm not joking. And, and we were talking about names. He said, yeah, I'm, I'm one of four boys. And this night, he goes, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Fred. Okay, so I'm like. <laughs> no, but when I said ADD, that's not a joke. Okay, when I said ADD, you were like, I, I saw the look on his face. Like, we never had that in my generation. I mean, <laughs> right? You never, like, nowhere in time, any time in your life, did your mother ever go, well, what's wrong with your friend Tim? You're like, like, oh. Uh, I don't know, Mom. I think he's got attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. <laughs> you never said that, right? Back in the day, you're like, I think his mama dropped him on his head. <laughs> but no, there was a study that came out, okay, uh, about ADD. And it's true, your generation never had it. And a study came out. Uh, it was a 25-year study, okay? And it was, the AM, it was in the AMA. That's American Medical Association. It was, it was on the internet, so you know it's true. <laughs> That was my Trump joke. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, did the half the crowd turn on me? Look, I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. When the election came out, I'm like, you know, I'm looking, it's like Trump, Hillary. I didn't care who won, right? Because I figured I'm a comic, I'm good either way, right? No. 
because Trump, all he has to do is tweet something. There's my next show, right? And, and if Hillary was president, that would have been awesome, right? She'd be up there giving a speech, you know, going, America, and no matter what she said, Bill would be in the back photobomb, and he'd be like, I'm back, baby. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta focus, okay? <laughs> okay, squirrel. Okay, so 25 year study, I gotta remember, okay? And, and it came out, and the reason why, sir, that your generation never had ADD, and it's actually linked to your parents and their generation, okay? Listen here, millennial. Okay, the reason why they never had ADHD is because your parents had a belt, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so...